Before we dive into microwave repair, we must emphasize safety. Make sure you have safety goggles, rubber gloves, and a well-ventilated workspace. Microwaves can hold electrical charges even when unplugged. Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy Solutions. Today, we've got an essential DIY tutorial for you, how to repair your microwave oven right at home. Not only will this save you some cash, but it'll also keep those microwavable meals coming. Let's get started. Now, identify the screws that secure the cover in place. These are typically located around the outer edges of the microwave's back or sides. Use a screwdriver to carefully remove them, ensuring you keep the screws organized. First things first, identify the problem with your microwave. Is it not heating? Are the buttons not responding? Making strange noises? Understanding the issue will guide our repair. We see a fault in the board, next to the main wire so we will open it. Carefully, open the wire from the board. You can see that its relay is damaged. You can quickly get this relay from any nearby shop. Take the relay off and take it with you. You can pick up and plug in the relay next to it. You can see we have removed the old relay and brought in the new relay. Connect the new relay with the soldering gun. With the repairs done, carefully reassemble the microwave, following the reverse order of disassembly. Make sure everything is securely in place. Fix the board and put the wires in their place very carefully. You can see that the supply of the display panel was burnt which I bought new from the shop. To access the display panel, you'll first need to remove the control panel cover. This usually involves removing a series of screws around the edges of the control panel. Once you've removed the cover, you'll see the old display panel. Carefully disconnect any connectors or ribbon cables attached to it. Take note of their positions so you can reconnect them correctly later. Now it's time to install the new supply. Carefully position it in place and secure it with the screws you removed earlier. Be sure not to over tighten, the microwave is working properly there you have it, folks. You've successfully replaced the display panel in your microwave. Remember, if you're uncomfortable with any step, it's always a good idea to consult a professional technician. Safety is paramount. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Easy Solutions for more DIY appliance repair guides. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more DIY appliance repair. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.